Hi, I'm Anthony Davidson, and this is my race car, the impressive Toyota TSO30. It's one of the fastest hybrid cars in the world, and I was one of the lucky drivers to drive this thing at the famous Le Mans 24 hours this year, where we qualified third on the grid and took the lead in the race at one point as well. It's an incredible car, and it really packs a punch. It always brings a smile to your face. But people always ask me, what do you drive at home? And is there anything out there can give you that same buzz? Well, I think I'm about to find out. This is the new Toyota GT86, and I can't wait to drive it to find out if it really can give the same buzz as driving my race car. One of the key inspirations for GT86 was the Corolla AE86, a car that won the BTCC Championship in 86 and 87. This car wasn't an extreme sports car, it was an affordable front-engine rear-wheel drive car. However, even many decades after Toyota discontinued the car, it still enjoys popularity amongst enthusiasts and drift racers. Fast forward to 2012, and the success of that original 86 has inspired Toyota to create the all-new GT86 that we see now. Now, the first thing you notice about this car is the sleek styling and its smooth lines. Like all the finest sports cars, it's very light and weighs less than 1,300 kilograms. It's got a 200 brake horsepower flat four boxer engine up front, powering the rear wheels. And it's also got a very low center of gravity with near perfect balance in terms of weight distribution. And that always strengthens the car characteristics on any race circuit. For true enthusiasts, all of this adds up to create a car that promises to be the real deal. So that's enough talking. Let's put this car through its paces. Gearbox is really nice and notchy, I can feel that straight away. I'm getting really good feedback from the steering wheel. Throttle pedals, nice and light. And the engine's got a great sound to it as well, which I really like. There's minimal electronics getting in the way to interfere with the pure driving pleasure. As soon as I turn the car into the corner, it does it immediately. It really does feel like a, a nippy little sports car. And that's what it's all about. Let's just open this car up a little bit more and just see what it can do. Well, the engine certainly likes to be revved. The manual car offers a 0 to 60 time of around 7.9 seconds and a top speed of 139 mile an hour. But that's almost irrelevant because I'm having such fun driving this car at perfectly legal road speeds. Nice. Yeah, it's got a really good sound to it when you get the revs up high that throatiness comes out even more. Brings a big smile to your face. This car is an absolute testament to the vision of chief engineer Tetsuya Tada. When developing the car, he said, this car is about passion, having fun, nothing more or less than that. You know, this is a car where it's gonna reward you a proper driver's car. That's what I'd say this is. And yet, despite all these impeccable sports car credentials, the Toyota GT86 is about much more than just lap times. It's a car that puts a big smile on your face. Actually, the more I drive it, the more I'm liking it. For a first experience, it's a brilliant car. I mean, I'm loving every moment of this. 